Well, studio experience. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com, and and here we're going to talk about again. Storage has been a big part of uh, this business in the broadcasting film industry. Big data. I'm joined with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante, Wikimod.org, and we we have my my colleague uh, Bill Peterson. Bill and I used to work together, John, a uh, long time ago did, at IDC. Did not know Bill that. Bill is a big data person at at NetApp, evangelist, really understands the market and Hadoop and has a great point of view on this. I've had him on yeah. theCUBE before in Marlboro, so great. welcome. Thank well, you. Welcome to Thank the you. I mean, Bill, big data has been in the broadcasting film business for years. I, mean, it's, I was saying yesterday, it's old school big data, right. big files, and storing sure. it on tape, and now you know, secondary storage. Not right. really a primary storage kind of model, right. uh, other than what's on the front end of their business models, but yep. big data for the folks out there has been talked about all over the press in Silicon Valley, all over the world, around things like Hadoop. And, and big data comes in two forms. A lot of little data that makes up big data. So companies like Yahoo can cr use that data to create a user experience, like know what you like and do things with that little data like, and what you're clicking on. And then there's big data, the right. petabytes of sure. files. Right. You're in the storage business. So yep. one, let's talk about big data. And in between, is that, do you agree with that statement? Sure. That that's a, a, a good definition, just to clarify, it's not just the size of the file. Right. It's little things too Absolutely. that create big, Big, big data is relative, right? It's relative to your business and it's relative to the use case that you're using it for, right? So let me, let me give you the perfect example which I think will hit on what, what you, you were just talking about. So uh, I recently responded to an RFP for a company that came to us and said, hey, we've got structured data, but we've got eight years worth of this unstructured data, 800 terabytes of it. Help us understand what's in there because we've just been keeping it forever, right? Because we're all digital pack rats, right? Yeah. We don't throw anything away. But here's the, the, the kicker is they just put all this stuff on tape and just kept putting it there and putting it there and putting it there, never did anything with it. And now we're at a point and in an inflection point in the industry where we can do some analytics on that data and that's what they came to us and said, hey, help us do something with all okay, this so stuff. So what did you do? It's, an R, it's a, it's a progressing it. RFP, right? <laughs> you but haven't won it yet. Yeah, we, we haven't won it yet, yet, right. But to your point, you know, if, if you want to think about their business, their data warehouse, their traditional data that they have, they're doing analytics on that, and it's not nearly as big as the stuff that they hadn't touched, which is what I find really interesting. So talk about what you're seeing out there, because again, yep. you just brought up data warehousing. Sure. People are pumping data, hey, they have data, they don't know what to do with it, so they put it to tape, and right. they put it in the big data warehouse, and it kind of sits there, and, and the guy who has to run the reports, the TPS reports, or whatever the version they do, right. they, gotta, they, they, they blow it off, because it's like, it's going to take weeks to get yeah. the data. Yep. And by the time the business has changed, it's just, it's just so old and archaic. Right. But today, people are trying to run their business at real time. We're Absolutely. seeing that that's the trend here at, uh, at NAB. It's real time data, real time right. media, real time everything. So, right. so what do you say to those guys? What kind of solutions do you see out here right. that affect the broadcast media film business Absolutely. around big data, specific examples. Sure, so uh, your bandwidth content, right? We, we look at, NetApp looks at the uh, big data market as, as three components, what we call the NetApp big data ABCs, analytics, bandwidth, and content. So for bandwidth and content, we're, we're, we're doing, and we're seeing other solutions here at the show floor, doing exactly what you're talking about there, right? So production, post-production, delivery, right? Bandwidth, high ingest, high output, systems all about performance, right? There's no pic, we can't have any pixels dropped, right? There's yeah. no pixelating, can't, can't happen. And then on the content side, uh, we're talking file block object, right? They're all there, right, for this market. You have to be able to support all of those. And they kind of all have to feed each other. And if, if you're not configured uh, as a storage or an infrastructure company to, to, to handle those feeds, you're, you're not going to compete in this business, right? It's just not going to work for you. And then for us personally on the analytics side, this is kind of the first time we've come to this show with the analytics component. That's net new for us here. And um, we, thought it, we thought it's time. It's, it's time to start to say to the broadcasters, hey, you also have these libraries. What do you want to learn from those libraries, right? Let, let us help you kind of investigate that. And we, we have a uh, demo we're showing, which uh, is an analytics demo. It's run on a set of uh, movie information from, from movie reviewers from you know, one of those internet movie companies that I can't name, but it's their data set, right? And what we're doing, we kind of have a neat thing over there. We're calling it date night. So the idea is uh, your wife selects a movie, you select a movie, they're very disparate, right? So she selects something that she likes. I got Die Hard, she's got, you know. The Notebook, <laughs> right? <laughs> and what it does is it goes and looks at the reviewer's history 
on those on those you know on those movies and makes a map in between and gives us a recommendation of ten movies that won't cause a fight. Right? Nice. So that, that's what we want to do at the end of the day. And what we're, we're Forget counseling, just use the <laughs> analytics, right? You know? <laughs> well, you know, it, and, it, and it's kind of very addicting because you get to start to play with it and you say, okay, let's have her select check, you know, 12 monkeys and I'll select, you know, the notebook and see what happens. And, and the results change. And it also changes. That's like, a, that's like a Facebook app we can build. Yeah. As long as they're satisfying <laughs> and not exactly. maximum vanilla. Right. Wars right. with friends gets uh, boring. Uh, go with this. Go to know? this, exactly. <laughs> um, but, but it's done with partners, right? And that's the other piece for us, right? So we're very much a storage infrastructure company. We're, we're focused on that market and delivering but that. But to deliver that value, think about the speed that needs yes. the real time. Well, that's exactly where I was going. We can't deliver that value without the bandwidth and the content components of uh, 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 you know of our solutions the and ABCs, the speed the ABCs of big data exactly so we're we're our partners I just want to give them a shout out because they did a lot of work on the on this analytics demo so we've got uh, NetApp as the storage and it's actually running in the cloud so the the actual our unit is actually in San Diego and we're just connecting via URL it's a par Excel columnar database with Fuzzy Logics doing the algorithms to actually do the math behind it, and a company called Burst out of San Francisco, B-I-R-S-T, doing the BI visualization screens. And what, what we're, again, what we're thinking there is, here's a nice representation for this audience, for the broadcast audience, to show some movies, which these guys get, but to your point, without the bandwidth and content and performance that we also provide, it just wouldn't all come together. But it, but it really has all come together for us uh, in, in that That's moment. a NetApp cloud? Or is the, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, it is. So who, uh, did the, who did the UI burst? Burst, B-I-R-S-T. Yes. Okay, so Bill, it. we've talked about big data becoming the new source of competitive advantage and virtually touching every industry and being different for right. every industry. So right. what specifically are you seeing in the media and entertainment business, number right. one, and are you seeing, you know, we've talked about Hadoop a lot too, sure, you, sure. what are some of the things that are sort of exciting that you see here? Right, so uh, I think full motion video, um, you know, um, Things like, uh, yeah, again, that whole pixelation that I, that I was talking about, and again, we're back to performance there. Um, and then media content management tools, right? The, the tools to actually handle input, output, tracking, um, uh, retention, and then reuse, repurpose. And I think uh, you know, all of those pieces together, and again, to John's point, you can't forget about performance, right? I think that's first and foremost in this market. Uh, but being able to, to supply, again, post, pre, production or delivery, being able to supply that content, almost content management, right? The old content management world layered over, over what these guys are doing. That is super important. Everyone I've talked to at the booth, it, it kind of always comes back to that. You know, they start out at performance and then they come kind of come back around to uh, effectively the content management for whatever piece of the production they're doing, right? And That's how about the Hadoop sort of open source movement? Is sure. it as prevalent here as you see it in other sure. industries? Yeah, yeah it, it's interesting. So we've got um, uh, uh, the analytics demo, which is not running on Hadoop, by the way, right? Uh, there's no reason it couldn't be. But right. I, I've mentioned to everybody who's come by you know, Hadoop and open source in particular in this market, and I'd say it's about a 50-50 mix of people who either have, look at me with you know dog looking at a ceiling fan. Yeah. I don't know what, you know, Hadoop is some town in India, is what somebody <laughs> told me yesterday, <laughs> you know? Uh, and, um, the, the folks that say, well, yeah, you know, that's really interesting, but we haven't figured out how it works in, in this market yet, which to me is an opportunity. So, yeah, so, so not as prevalent as, as not, you say, say in not, financial services no, or? No, not from what I've seen today. This is my first, you know, first time at NAB and I'm overwhelmed, right? You know, I walked through Central Hall and my eyes were, you know, saucers here. Uh, but from, from the small, you know, um, you know st set of examples in the booth that I've talked to, you know, the, the, it, it's still very much uh, nascent. Anything stand out as you walk the halls? What what caught your eye? You know, there's uh, the Ridley Scott um, 3D movie at the front. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. Uh, I think it's Red Square or Red something. Uh, really unbelievable, yeah. unbelievably done. If you're a Ridley Scott fan, it, it's something else. Uh, I, I think that's number one. And then I think number two, and, uh, and uh, honestly, being in the storage market, I, you know, I love the fact that we're all here. And we're all represented, and we're all saying, Big you know, time, yeah. you know, you know, it's, yeah, we we all have media content management solutions. We all have uh, some kind of full motion video, and we're all now trying. So we're adding the analytics piece. Some of the other storage vendors are adding some others. Uh, the exciting time to me, and and really, you know, the the energy and the amount of people here just just shows that. What are you right? hearing from the customers in this market segment? Obviously, media and business. We heard from Nirvana, amazing cloud yep. cloud storage. I mean, they're a pioneer, and quite frankly, misunderstood a little bit because. They're doing so well, no one knows what to compare them to. Right. Because so right. they're just doing so well. Cloud storage is coming big. Right. So Nirvana has had success there. Yep. 
what are you seeing from customers here in, the, in this segment of media? Because they want the storage. Yeah, yeah, it's a fair point. Um, so, you know, it's, it's re reten you know, it starts with retention, right? And it's, and it's uh, I hate to go back to performance again, but it's performance, it's retention. Uh, I had somebody in the booth yesterday who all, at, at the end of the day, all they cared about was they had to understand uh, usability. Right, they had to understand how to use our, and they're a new NetApp customer. They had to understand how to use our, uh, our snapshot, our FlexCone, all of those technologies for what they do post production, and they had to understand it inherently in their business. They did not want us in in their organization. So services and support for this market, from what I've seen, they need to do it all in inside. And I said to the guy, why? And he said, you know, I picked up his badge and he said, we're a TV station, we're 24/7. I don't have time for you. I, I love you guys, I like what you do, but I have to understand, you know, so that self-sustainability, you know, that, that's, yeah. a, that's something that we, we as an industry have to, have to make sure that, okay, we get this, right? I get how to, how to use NetApp to do a, you know, a, a snapshot or, or to clone their, their stuff to multiple sites. We have to inherently make it so, so you know, UI usability for these guys that the 24-7 operation of a TV show can do this, you know, with a click. So what do you think of the, uh, the Intel studio experience? You know, the Intel partner. I, and, the, uh, yeah, we are an yeah. Intel partner, yes indeed, yeah. and, and this is just fantastic. I just, you know, I, I feel like, you know, we should have, uh, you know, the band going and... Do you uh, play? Or? I do not, yeah. I wish I did, yeah. I wish I did. I wish my wife was here, she's the musician <laughs> in the family. It's been amazing. Well, Bill, thanks for coming inside the Cuba, and thanks for coming thanks in on John. short notice. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks, NetApp, Silicon Valley icons. So we'll stay know, live as you can exit stage.